right ladies and gentlemen so there was a beautiful question which somebody asked me that how to stop demanding respect from other people from things situations people anything how to stop doing that well before we stop doing that we have to identify that what happens when we keep demanding respect from others and at the first place why at all do we do that all right so these are the questions that we need to ponder upon and there's a million uh, dollar saying it's like a thousand year old saying that respect is not you cannot demand res- you cannot demand you know you have to earn it you cannot force somebody to respect you that person has to voluntarily come and respect you all right of course you can act in a way which inspires him to respect you but you cannot force anybody to respect you yes and yes so we will discuss about it in this video in short hopefully and as a disclaimer there are many strong things which i will say in this video <laughs> all right so if you are only used to hearing uh, the sweet stuff the melodious stuff that everything is good and i am the best person in the world there's nobody better than me so 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 then uh, please walk out away from this video because your ears will not like many things which i might speak here and later on if you waste your and my time sending me mails or messages in whatsapp and facebook by abusing me or anything related to me i will simply uh, direct those mails to the heavenly realms all right so there you go if you are new to the channel then please like this video if you like it at the end <laughs> and if you are new then if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and watch my other videos and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and today god is very important like every other day because we are going to discuss something very important we are going to discuss about a very interesting character yes i have talked about him so many times and today also i will not lose this opportunity to speak about him and the name of this character who perfectly fits into this topic is duryodhan he was the eldest son of dhritarashtra who was blind by birth and also by his actions and he was the self declared uh, authority you know after dhritarashtra you know that yes this is my throne i will inherit this from my father which was never his actually but Duryodhan had this entitlement complex entitlement means i am the center of the universe and the world should only revolve around me what i want people should do what i want the way i want people should behave the things that i like people should come and speak and that was his conception of reality yes and therefore it is said in the mahabharat that duryodhan he was so egoistic that he never uh, because see in the ancient times when the kings used to walk and even nowadays maybe if there are some kings or some landlords anywhere there is another person who will stand beside them and they will carry the umbrella so that the sunshine doesn't fall or the rains doesn't fall and the kings used to have uh, people who hold the umbrella for them they never used to hold it themselves but it is said duryodhan was so egoistic he was so arrogant he never used to hire anybody to take an umbrella over him why because the umbrella used to be above his head and he could not tolerate that yes how can something be above me everything is below me everything is below my knees so that's the character duryodhan and he always had this entitlement that 
everybody should come and give things to me so he was a victim of inferiority complex he was the one who always demanded respect from others he and his brothers and his uncle and his friends you know duryodhan and company as i say demand 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 respect me respect me respect me respect me respect me you must respect me i'm the king you know you must do it <laughs> on the other hand his cousins like the pandavas yudhishthir maharaj headed by yudhishthir bhim arjun nakul and sahadev they never demanded respect but they commanded respect respect is commanded everybody unanimously respected them personalities like bhishma personalities like vidur personalities like yudhishthir personalities like vyasdev personalities like sukhdev goswami from the shrimad bhagavatam there are personalities like ambarish maharaj there are personalities like uh, prithu maharaj there are personalities like bhrigurishi there are personalities like parashar muni these are all exalted personalities who the entire world has always been respecting yes but duryodhan was one such character who never respected anybody that is that is an indication of low self esteem because see why do we deserve why do we expect respect from others or rather than saying expecting i would say why do we demand respect from others because when somebody doesn't respect us what happens we feel that you know they have pulled us down yes that is entitlement so what inside what we think of ourselves is that yes there is something lacking in me which when the other person doesn't re- uh, respect me i i i kind of start seeing that in myself and that i fear seeing feeling fear to see that because i cannot tolerate that the, the fact that i am low yes we think ourselves to be low that is why we think that if somebody disrespects us then that that person has pulled us pulled us down yes and that's the cause of endless anxiety in this world so much anxiety my god i get messages from so many people who who tell me that oh you know i ended my relationship with this person why because this person did not reply to my text message from 3 days wow this is how kaliyuga is getting worse day by day kaliyuga i don't know where it will end people are treating other people like disposable objects you see ah this phone doesn't work throw it so this person boy or girl whoever doesn't reply to my messages in the next 36 hours so you are out get lost you are a piece of <laughs> yes that's what is happening that that's the level of patience people have that if you do not reply to somebody that that's what i have seen that's so funny you know people are going on blocking people in whatsapp in facebook in you know instagram yes if the person has not replied so what in the universe will go down will the tsunami come or will there be an earthquake but no your ego is hurt right how dare that bloody person not reply to me i am the king of the universe i am the sun the world revolves around me how did the <laughs> as in hindi na kaise nahi kiya usne reply karna padega usko reply reply kar nahi to maar dalunga main tere ko my god i know people having grudges from so many decades you know 10 saal pehle usne aisa bola tha na isko nahi chhodunga main 10 years back he insulted me you know yes so much obsession with the self you know and on the other side we have characters like hanuman ji the great pavan putra hanuman whenever wherever however he used to have any success what he used to say it is not my prowess it is not because of me 
it is because of the name of lord ram and then he used to chant loudly shri ram jay ram jay jay ram you can also chant <laughs> if you are in the mid of a bus or if you are in your office you can just chant loudly shri ram jay ram jay jay ram no, no don't shout <laughs> because if your boss fires you for shouting don't don't mail me later okay you know my boss has kicked me out of the job because you told to chant all right so that's what hanuman ji was now hanuman ji was the most powerful you know it was like his personification of power i mean if you talk of power only imagine if hanuman ji started having ego oh my god <laughs> imagine hanuman ji had an account in facebook you know what 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 were the uh, timelines you know or life events as they say in facebook he would have posted yes just lifted the mountain my god oh my god <laughs> even god may wonder sometimes you know oh hanuman how do you do these things you know <laughs> that's what lord ram used to say hanuman you are exceptional and hanu lord ram told hanuman that i know i have a gut feeling i feel it inside i sense it that you are the one who will find sita one day yes so one who has a healthy self esteem knows that i don't have to depend on somebody else for feeling good about myself So why do we feel bad when somebody is apparently not responding or disrespecting us? Because we believe that person. Because we ourselves have a low self-esteem. So then what happens if somebody comes and speaks and oh you are a piece of shit, you are a garbage, you are X, you are Y, you are Z. <laughs> All right. So then what do I do? Do I go and start fighting with them? आह कैसे बोल दिए अब मैं तेरे को बताता हूँ आई विल टेल यू नो जस्ट लीव दैट पर्सन बिकॉज दैट पर्सन इज ऑलरेडी कन्विंस्ड ऑफ समथिंग विच हैज नथिंग टू डू विद यू यस सो फॉर एग्जांपल देर वाज वन पर्सन हु आई मेट हु वाज फ्रॉम गूगल आई मेट हिम इन जर्मनी हियर so he told me that uh, you know oh you are from india you know in india we have vedic culture you know there's a lot of nonsense which is there in vedic culture this is there that is there this is the <laughs> he gave a long speech on how terrible the vedic culture is and how great kaliyuga is you know how fantastic kaliyuga is how magnanimous kaliyuga is yes and then all my colleagues you know like the indians there they were like no no how do you say like this no <laughs> and then i was sitting there silent because i know he's just speaking nonsense he has never stayed in india he doesn't know what vedic culture is he has not he has never uh, read any holy text from the vedic tradition he has he doesn't know anything he just the concept of india that he has is from tv from books and from all the fancy literature you know which keeps portraying all the garbage all the time and later on my friends were very angry with me they said hey you how do you not speak how do you not defend your own country and then i'm like because i know he's speaking nonsense he's not speaking of india he's speaking of some other country <laughs> he's speaking of some imaginary country or some imaginary culture which he thinks to be vedic culture yes so that is why i i, I didn't agree i i didn't uh, fight with him and the funny thing is <laughs> the next time when that person met me he told me that uh, i spoke so badly but you did not uh, react why and i said because i know you are talking shit <laughs> your your head is at filled with truckloads of shit yes and that's what you are spilling around i know that so i, I didn't respond because my guru used to say you know when somebody is speaking nonsense and you take part in that nonsense either by talking with it or against it then it's like uh, going and touching stool yes it's like going and taking part in that sh <laughs> yeah that, that's what it is 
now i did not feel disrespected when he was insulting why because i i, I know what reality is what is the divine ethos of the vedas i know that so nobody in this universe can make me feel bad about uh, ramayan or mahabharat or shrimad bhagavatam no no there is no power in this entire universe who can do that there is no hindu there is no muslim there is no right wing person there is no left wing there is no european there is no american there is nobody who can do that nobody can do that to you also unless you think bad about you think low about yourself yes so whenever you are getting offended by somebody apparently disrespecting you it is a call to look inwards and check why am i getting affected by this person or is it that this person is pointing out some weakness which i have which i don't want to acknowledge that yes this is my weakness yes why are we getting angry of course we we may get angry but if anger is crossing beyond a certain extent then it is an indication of low self esteem all right so this is what happens people biting each other i have seen in social media taking taking offenses for no reason it's like somebody is flying in the air and then somebody drops something and then you're like how did you drop that you know i will kill you i will rip you apart so when our life is motivated by tamoguna yes tamas and rajas satvam rajata maiti <laughs> so a characteristic of the mode of rajoguna which is rajas the mode of passion is expectation yes and when we go from rajas to and tamoguna means okay if somebody doesn't respect me i will kill that person kill maybe physically or i will damage that person's reputation i will abuse that person yes so in short we have to be very exemplary if we want that others respect us we have to be exemplary in all regards all regards doesn't mean 100% but people have to see that we are hell bent on improving our lives and we have come a long way far all right of course at the first place it is abominable to even expect that somebody respects us yes but if at all we are so hell bent on wanting respect then always remember we will have to act also in a way that somebody respects us if we do anything anywhere any time then nobody will respect us you see there you go that's that's the way it is all right and whenever we feel bad we need to introspect and check what is that which is making me so much affected by that person if is there some element of truth what he is speaking in or do i also know that but i am trying to hide it <laughs> if you do not introspect then what will happen whole life you will be fighting 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 with people that is all you will do your whole life nothing else he told this i will prove i told this he didn't respond he 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 disagreed with me now there is there's a verse which they use you know verse <laughs> let's agree to disagree well that is only on the surface once that person is gone you will start criticizing ah you know he doesn't know anything he is like this she is like this he is that he is she is that yes and there's another new fancy verse in english i don't know from where this has come this verse is said you know verse <laughs> this verse is said just before insulting somebody they say with due respect yes so suppose i tell you with due respect sir madam you are totally disgusting you are the worst piece of crap i have ever seen how do you feel do you feel respected <laughs> no right because we cannot insult somebody who you respect and you cannot respect somebody if you insult somebody 
Yes, yeah, so they, they, they are they're going the opposite ways, but that's how people behave these days. All right, so if we want to get rid of this obsession of being demanding respect, 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 oh, you know, we have to get rid of the mentality of self obsession. And how to do that? That will happen automatically when we realize the greatness of God. Why we feel offended? Because we think we are great. We think we are the best. We think we are number one. We are the best of the best of the best in all. Well, yes. That is why we feel, you know, it's me, you know. How dare he say that to me? How dare he not do what I say? How dare she speak like this? My God. People fighting like cats and dogs I have seen. Just because that person did not respect me. Oh my God. So what? <laughs> On the other extreme, people say, okay, respect nahi kiya mujhe, didn't respect me. Bhaar mein jai, go to hell, do maro, go and die. Well, how does it affect me? No, it affects you. Otherwise, you would have not said that, you know. And if a person has a healthy self-esteem, then he or she will not be affected by praise or by insult. Yes? And that is one habit which we have to cultivate. Because Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Naso Chati Na Kangshati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhbhaktim Labhate Param That Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Naso Chati Na Kangshati When one is in Brahma Bhuta, situated in the transcendence, then Naso Chati Na Kangshati There is no hankering lamentation, no lamentation. Yes? Only then, Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Lavate Param. That is the time his spiritual life begins. So that's the beginning of spiritual life. Alright. So when we read about characters like Yudhishthir Maharaj, when we read about characters like Lord Ram, Hanumanji, when we read about Sugri, when we read about Jambavan, when we read about Prithu, when we read about the great Bhishma Dev. When we read about the twelve Mahajan, Swam Bhuna Radha Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Prahalado Janako Bhishmo Balirvaya Asakhi Vayam. When we read shlokas which Lord Shiva has said to Parvati, yes, what does Lord Shiva says when Chitraketu Maharaj is cursed by Mother Parvati? Lord Shiva said that famous, 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 famous verse Narayana Parasarve. Nakutaschana Vibhyati Swarga Apavarga Narkeshu Apitulyarthi Darshina Swarga Apavarga Higher, middle, lower It's all the same For one who is devoted to Lord Narayan Yes So Krishna confirms this Lord Shiva confirms this Who else do you need? <laughs> Krishna is speaking in the Gita A similar verse I have told you from the Srimad Bhagavatam Yes, so when you realize that God is beyond all greatness, you know, and my greatness is tiny, insignificant. Just as Hanumanji uh, would feel himself. What did Hanumanji say when he went and burned the Swan Lanka? Ravan was puffed up with his ego and then Hanumanji went and he ripped apart the entire Lanka. Pura Swan Lanka jala diya Ravan ka, my God. What did Hanuman say later on? Did Hanuman say that, Oh, actually, you know, dekh, maine kya kar diya tere saath. No, Hanuman didn't say like this. Hanuman said, I am an insignificant monkey in the army of Lord Ram. Imagine if an insignificant person like me can do so much damage. Imagine what the other big monkeys, if they come, they will do. And imagine if Lord Ram comes with his bow and arrow, what will be your situation? Ravana, you will perish, you will be nowhere, you, you will be extinguished. You and your entire clan will be obliterated if you do not give back Sita Devi. But Ravana never listened and that's what happened. He met his end in the most the most pathetic way that could happen you know his whole his whole clan was finished Indrajit died Kumbhakaran died everybody perished there was nobody remaining yes so when we realize the greatness of God 
then we will stop putting ourselves in the center of this universe because always remember praise and insult they say it is like sands in the uh, castles in the sand all right you will always get praises and you will al always get insults like if i give my example i have this astrology channel so every day i get you know hundreds and thousands of comments and messages okay so some da sometimes there are some people who will write in the comments you are the best astrologer you are perfect you are beyond you are the you are mind blowing you are number one in astrology you are the king of astrology you are this you are that oh my god and then the next moment there are some people who will be like oh your videos are like crap you speak garbage you have zero knowledge you are doing show off you are this you are that oh my god so now suppose i keep smiling when people write good things and then i keep crying when people are writing nonsense or wrong things about me then what happens my whole life goes in you know crying smiling crying smiling crying smiling and then what happens to my inner peace it's ruined completely all right so when we read about these great personalities and we cultivate sattva guna in our life that is the time when we will realize that we are good but we don't have to be great all right and that is the time that we will stop feeling offended by other people and we will stop demanding respect from others and if at all we want respect then we have to behave in a way that commands respect all right that will be it from my side and if anybody has dragged on so far till now uh, i would say sorry if something offended you but i needed to make this video because so many times i get so many mails by where people say na oh i've ended my relationship with this person with that person you know because that person did this to me that to me you know and then i'm like all right <laughs> it's time for a new video you see okay so if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is obsessed with demanding respect from others and if you want a consultation from me you could go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and realize him and then you will realize that nobody is so great that you know like we will always be respected and we always need to be respected a humble person will never demand respect all right so that is a lack of humility and if we cultivate humility the problem is solved but again it's easier said than done all right thank you very much bye bye